Hello, and thank you for joining me on this latest video that we have available for you. And if you have, by chance, the Bible near you, I would welcome you to please open it up to uh, the book of Daniel, found in the Old Testament, specifically in chapter 3. And we're going to be praying what we would call the canticle. Now, I get this from the Liturgy of Hours, and the Liturgy of Hours is the book of prayer that is used by priests on a daily basis, as well as uh, by those religious sisters and those in the religious communities like brothers and, and religious priests, as well as those lay faithful that sometimes will read this also on a daily basis. It is of prayers and, you know, prayers that Jesus would pray, because remember, Jesus prayed the Psalms. Well, here in this particular prayer is called the Canticle, and we find this in the Liturgy of Hours always on the first Sunday of, you know, a particular week. There's four cycles. There's a cycle one, two, three, and four. So this Sunday morning one, this canticle from Daniel, is truly something that is special. And again, I offer you to open it up to the book of Daniel, chapter 3, starting at verse 57. So may I read it, and hopefully you can be joining me at home. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you host of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, these are words of praise, realizing that even in the midst of all the trouble and anxiety in the world, if I just leave my doorway and go outside for a little short walk, I am so thankful for what God has given, the air that I breathe, the sun, the clouds, and even the rain and the dew. These are all blessings from God as well as the wild animals and all of the other things that God has created, like the fish and the sea creatures, and of course the trees and the birds of the air. These are gifts to you and to me. May we realize that the God of providence is going to give us peace. And even in the midst of these challenging times, I must be able to find that little bit of goodness. I need to find out that Yes, he truly does love you and me. He loves us all, and he's here for each and every one of us. Pray to God at all times. Love him and find your relationship with God even greater and more important. And remember always adoration, contrition, and thanksgiving, because truly our God above is truly deserving of all that love. And by trusting in him, having faith in him, he will get us through this difficult time. And may we all come closer to one another, each other, 
and especially as we go forward in this day, that we have the reset button to change our lives that becomes more like him in everything that we do each and every day. May God bless you on your journey and may we visit again at our, the time of our next video. Thank you.